this is Arun and welcome to my channel for inspiration. Today I will teach you how to make a basic editing using Lightroom and Photoshop. I am in the Lightroom CC. As you can see on the image, I have used two flashes. In the back side, I have used a flash direct. I am not using any uh, softbox, any kind of uh, modifier in the in the flash that is put behind this person. And uh, in the in the left side, I used a flash and uh, uh, I used this uh, modifier as a reflector and uh, with dust. So when you put flash uh, in dust, then it gives you very nice effect. So let's uh, start to edit this image. And uh, this is the histogram. Uh, I'm very perfect. Uh, I'm getting very perfect histogram in this image. So close it. Uh, I want uh, blue shades because uh, if if I put blue shade, and it gives me very uh, it gives me uh, it gives me a very nice result. So firstly, I will start from my camera correction. Uh, this is a very basic method to start a uh, to start editing in Lightroom. So I want lens correction. Okay, this is fine. And profile correction. You can see all the tools are working very nicely okay now i want uh, firstly i will try to auto okay it gives me very warm look i don't want it warm look and i will put it as short i want a blue shirt that's why i'm dragging it to the left side now you can see okay that's fine now i want to control highlights uh, highlights means white pixels these are my white pixels if i want to control let's see what happened uh, okay now I'm getting very nice detail on this area uh, so 100 I want most of the time uh, we use minus uh, minus in the highlights to achieve details in the highlights and uh, in this segment this is called shadows means black pixels I will boost that okay now I'm getting details around in the highlights as well as in the shadows right and uh, this is the part uh, white and black it is manual contrast you can see a contrast here as well as these are called also contrast if uh, the reason it has been uh, split into two parts means white and black uh, suppose uh, mm, we want to work only in the white so we can work with only white if we use this slider then it will put contrast in the black as well as in the white but in case you want contrast only in the white then you can use this slider like this now black is maintained as its position okay now but i want contrast in the black side also so i will a little bit around minus 11 you can see and clarity i want uh, clarity is a local contrast i will put a, uh, a tutorial on uh, contrast what of what type of contrast are there in uh, photography uh, means local and global and uh, okay this is fine and uh, i will put some vibrance mm, now we're getting very nice result if you put uh, this uh, slash on the keyboard this is before and this is after before and after okay and uh, finally i want sharpness okay now you can see that uh, see what happen if I make it under expose okay no I don't want it okay this is the um, final editing from this Lightroom only I want now I will go to the Photoshop and uh, I will do further editing to this now right click on this export I want to export it now um, now quality 100% I want, uh, this is the settings I want, now export it. Now the image is exporting, you can see this. Now this is the image I have exported and now I want to open it in the Photoshop CC. Now this is my Photoshop CC. So firstly I will crop it, I don't want from area from this side and uh, make it crop. Okay, I want align it in the center. Okay, align it. Okay, this is fine. Now I want to remove this, remove this. 
okay now go to this tool this uh, laser tool make a selection here okay now go to edit and uh, fill i want to fill it with content aware now it will be automatically correct okay now you can see that control d to deselect this selection okay now make it zoom and uh, i will clone i will use clone stem to make uh, hide this stand now firstly make a new layer uh, this is the best way you for using this uh, stem tool now right click on their stem tool i want to use this clone stem tool then you see this uh, opacity and flow i want 100 percent exactly uh, now press alt on the keyboard and uh, make selection and make it bigger from the back bracket you can and you can make it bigger from this side okay now take a selection by pressing alt on the keyboard and apply it here okay this is nice again select take a selection again take a selection okay now you can see now again select take a selection from here now this is very easy selection take a selection from this side okay now take a selection from here okay this is fine again selection from this side apply it here okay now you can see that press control zero on the keyboard now this image will be set as fit now you can see that now this is before and this is after and uh, it's it, it's a better way to uh, use clone stamp on the separate layer okay now i want to merge all these layers by pressing control shift alt e on the keyboard and this is fine and i will go to this filter then we have this next software next software is the easiest and fast to get some extraordinary effects okay uh, i'm in the color effects okay now you have this panel and uh, most of the time i use this cross processing click on there then you will get uh, some options of this cross processing now i will try to put some very special effect uh, i think uh, uh, this is this is fine very unique blue shade is coming okay mm, even this is also nice okay i will try this now if you want to add more filter then you have to press on this add filter okay now i will try this uh, contrast only i want contrast more contrast and this is my soft contrast uh, most of the time i use this slider only soft contrast okay mm, this is fine and uh, i want one more filter this is called fog even it will put some extra fog on this image very soft look it gives this is fine now again add a filter uh, now this time i will use this uh, detail extractor click on this uh, i think uh, it is not working now check it before and after before and after okay i think this is working this is nice uh, now click on okay now this is the effect i got after applying this uh, color effects and now see that this is before and this is after very nice result we are getting now this is the lens flare i want to use now click on okay mm, now set its blend mode to screen now this is what i want now it is looking very nice before and after now make it i want another copy by pressing ctrl j even you can put it here now it's looking cool very nice 
now this time i will use this uh, particle now this is my particle layer and set its pending mode to screen now you can see that very nice result is coming okay now i want to merge all these layers mm. now i want to make it sharp go to filter then uh, sharpen then unsharp mask okay this is fine okay radius i want 1.1 amount 157 now see this before and after now in this way you can create uh, your images very extraordinary using flashy strokes on the spot and uh, making a fake mist or fog by putting dust and uh, you can use uh, any kind of powder you can use on this spot so thank you friends keep watching our inscription